Okay, I have a car for Lloyd. Well, not a real car, unfortunately. That would make traveling so much easier, wouldn't it? This looks good, right? New decoration. The model orbital car. Another customer. Damn, right when I thought things were starting to slow down. Are you okay, sir? Am I okay? I'd say not. I've been working like hell all day. Is it too much to, much to ask for a short break? I have magazines I'm wanting to read, you know? Honestly, it'd be a lot better if I didn't have any customers show up. That goes double for you guys. Get what you want and scram. There aren't many weapon shops and crossbells, surprisingly enough. Most of my regular cuts consist of CPD officers and bracers. Well, technically, that's only scratching the surface of the troop. I heard there's a famous black market shop in the downtown district, but I've already been there. Yeah, all of your stuff right now... I don't see anything I really need. Except maybe these immunity-type things. Yeah, let's just get some immunity stuff, just in case. Never know when I'll need it. Okay, let's see what the, what they say after the Mafia incident. Probably say we're still noobs. I'm so happy to see you again, Tio. Gosh, you're such a cutie. I can never get enough of you. Can I hug you, please? Help. Aeolia's mind totally breaks whenever she sees Tio. Man, a smoking hot foreigner like her is totally my type too. Not much I can do about it. She's totally smitten with Tio Tot. I'll forgive you just this once. What am I supposed to do? Come here, Tio. I'm gonna give you a big hug. She's really drowning her in affection. What am I supposed to do? Hey, rookies. How are you doing? We're doing good. Thanks for asking. It's pretty rare to see you around. Are you staying put today? Yep, I just got back yesterday. I complained to Mitchell about all the jobs he's been setting me on, so I think I'll be okay for now. Sounds like he has you running around like a dog. Hey Tio, sorry about Aeolia always going bonkers around you. I not particularly mine, however her logic is perplexing. I hear you, I'm her partner, yet I can't figure out what she's thinking half the time. If I were you, I'd just abandon hope and resign to being her plaything. I'm sure there's a different solution to this. Oh, it seems we're getting along better with the Bracer Guild, maybe they were impressed by our, uh, by us doing all, uh, uh, handling the Mafia stuff. Okay, it's the Fishing Guild. I heard about it from Copan. Man, I'm super pumped we got ourselves another new member. You better tell us whenever you make some great catches, okay? We'll be looking forward to it. Wait, I'm not, am I even an official member? Congrats, looks like you finally become a member of our fine guild. Man, Copan sure snatched you up quick. I, I was going to personally invite you. Oh, you were? Wait, when the heck did I join the Fisherman's Guild? I mean, sure, I did accept that fishing rod earlier. Wah, don't sweat the details, kid. You're already our comrade in rods. I don't think I'm escaping this one. Still, it looks like they all share a love for fishing. I'm willing to bet Saradon could talk about it for hours on end. Oh right, have you heard about the rank certification exam, Lloyd? Our guild grants ranks that correspond to how skilled of an angler you are. Wah, if you become an ace angler, I bet you'd be legendary in crossbell. Anyway, kid, if your young brain doesn't understand anything, feel free to t ask me. I'll give you a thorough explanation. First, let me explain. The Fisherman's Guild seeks to spread fishing enthusiasm and administers the rank certification exam to increase one's fishing rank. With each promotion and rank you, you achieve, we'll award you with different titles and prizes. You just joined the guild, so your current rank is Amateur Fisher, Lloyd. Your conditions for ranking up are to catch at least four unique kinds of fish. Oh, what's this now? You already managed to catch four fish? Sure, just work over that fishing notebook of yours for a second so I can check it out. Ask me to check your rank again any time and I'll give you your much deserved promotion. Wow, Lloyd, well, you managed to catch yourself with some real beauts. Good work, kid. Starting today, you are now a hobbyist fisher. Straw hat. We already have that. And then I shouldn't have bought that extra one if I knew it'd be that easy to get four fish. This thing's my prized straw hat, you see. Better catch you glorying it next time you go fishing, got it? Wear this hat and work towards your next big catch, Lloyd. Oh, this is standard fishing paraphernalia, isn't it? I'll wear it with pride, sir. I'm already wearing one. You still have a long way to go, but the boys and I thought we'd prepare this nice medal for you to celebrate ranking up the hobbyist fisher. But more importantly, I think you're ready to hear the next challenge you need to tackle the rank up. 
Eight fish, double the amount of last time. Plan a strategy and bag yourself some big ones. But I don't have that many different baits available to me or different rods, so that could be tough. The Fisherman's Guild is a prestigious organization created in order to spread the culture and greatness of fishing. Due to our strong sense of purpose and calling, our guild established a rank certification exam. Anyway, kid, if you're a young brain that doesn't understand anything, then just ask your old pal. Okay. That's all for now. Huh? Do you guys return by bus too? Guess we weren't on the same bus though. Eh, yeah, whatever. I already let the branch manager know the news. He's downstairs, so go talk to him if you've got any questions or concerns. Wouldn't hurt to ask him about the rank certification exam, you know? Howdy there, folks. I'm here pretty often, so don't be afraid to come to me if you've got any questions. As a sweet deal, we'll let you know about our recommended fishing spots. Okay, so apparently someone at the market n wants my fish. Look who decided to stop by again. Do you bring me some more fresh fish? You guys managed to fish up those up these up yourself? They're in pretty good condition. I could probably sell these. Mm, how about it? Wanna let me take those fish off your hands? Remember, fish ingredients indigenous to Crossbell are popular, so I'll give you a nice reward if you bring me some. Okay, I see I see I can get specific types of sepif here. Good thing they tell me which sepif I get ahead of time. Yes. If only there was an easier way to get bait. Where do I buy those again? Okay, so Fran has a new conversation. Hi guys, it's Crime Prevention Week at Headquarters. I'd like to remind you all to confirm that your doors and windows are locked before leaving your home. What's Crime Prevention Week? This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Figures, can't, can't say that you're sur I'm surprised you're unaware. Is it a recent thing? It'd be nice if the higher-ups allocated a bigger budget towards awareness. Hello everyone, looks to me you've been hard at work filling out your combat notebook. I'd like to record your information to our database. Mind if I see you for a minute? With pleasure. Yeah, let's see. Do I? How much money do I get? Oh, you material. Nice. Don't forget to stop by once you collect more monster data, okay? Right, leave it to us. Of course, we'll see to it that we visit. Hmm. Maybe I should try to avoid spending too much you material in one chapter, but even then... Nightmare mode kind of demands I s max out my stats no matter what. Give it a good work, everyone. Did anything interesting happen while you were investigating Armorica? No, nothing yet. We haven't learned anything outside of the CGF's investigation. Oh, uh, what a shame. Oh yeah, I guess the CGF did conduct their own investigation. You guys think Noe was out in the field too? Fran loves to boast about her older sister in the CGF. I have to sit here listening to Fran go on about her pretty much every day. Come on, Rebecca, don't tease me like that. I only do it because my sister hardly ever contacts me. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not feeling lonely or anything, I swear. Can't say I ever feel good going to headquarters, but... Being at reception with these lovely ladies always brightens my day. I'm beginning to understand why these two are appointed as receptionists. And let's just erase that last conversation from our memories. I'm a member of the Force too, guys. It's not professional of me to mix my personal matters with work. Oh, Noe, where are you do up to these days? Okay, I saw something kind of disturbing. Hey, this dude's wife is pretty hot. Heh, <laughs> I suddenly feel more motivated to... Okay, come on. So he feels more motivated to do investigating. This guy is a dead ringer for Randy. Uh, excuse me? Doesn't everybody do that? It's a pretty sweet method to get the juices flowing when you're in a slump. Oh, you guys here looking for some documents for your investigation, too? Those documents can be real nice sometimes. You get to meet the occasional beautiful married lady. Okay, here it is. So weird. Yeah, it's not an original feature of the PC version, so I guess it's a little glitchy. Come to, it's come to the understanding that last month's incident involved a Diet member. That top Russ is acting all wishy-washy. It's all because they know it involves a politician. Great, another CPD special. Why not just arrest a politician? Well, it's not that simple. They've been low-key pressuring us, so we've got to be more prudent with the investigation going forward.
There's Harold. Sorry, the negotiations dragged on. How has Colin been, by the way? He's begun to enjoy drawing pictures again. In fact, he's been begging me for a new notebook to draw in recently. Heh, <laughs> good to know. He's quite the enthusiastic one, isn't he? Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Oh, sorry, Harold. Are we interrupting you? Oh, no, not at all. But anyway, how are you all doing? Are you feeling tired at all? Feel free to stay for a while and take a nice break. I'm sure you've earned it. I understand it's not much, but it's the least I could offer you. You're all acquaintances of my husband, correct? I'm Harold's wife, Sophia Hayworth. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You feel it. Daddy's home. That's because I heard Daddy's car pull up. All three of them are gonna. T could all three of them really turn out to be traitors, or maybe they're just normal characters who just happen to have mug shots and maybe connections with other characters and such? Who knows how things will play out with these mug shot characters? Eehee, <laughs> quite the impressive piece came into my possession today. See, a Goldia ring, engraved with the crest of the White Falcon, if my hunch is right. It's an heirloom of the Royal Liberalian family, and a gem of extraordinary beauty that was pawned off by debaucher a debaucherous duke a few years ago. No, could be that duke? Dunan, I think? The, the chubby one that uh, constantly buffed his allies? A royal, royal heirloom, is it legal for her to possess something like that? I'm not sure, but if she isn't cautious, it might grow into an international issue. I doubt we could even file a report on it without proving it's a genuine article. Eehee, you know, if you want to investigate that badly, you can always buy it, dearies. Keep in mind, it will cost you an arm and a leg. The craftsmanship is superb and the Goldia is used as of the highest quality. Goldia... Out of the, our price range, is it even available here? No, it's not. It's even more expensive than this... Uh, than this... Uh, than these two super accessories. Hmm, Ryu better not be thinking about keeping it. I want him to listen to my words for once in his life. Okay, not this room. Oh, what's this? Hey, it's the special support section. It's been a while since we last saw you guys. About a week, I think. So what's up? Actually, what's the deal with the kitten? It looks fairly young, maybe about six months old, if I were to guess. Are you her owners? Uh, Noah, we found her roaming around West Street all alone. We think she might be lost. <laughs> she was pretty weak, but we made sure to give her a ton of food. Oh look, she's as good as new. Aren't we amazing? Uh, but... Wait a minute, why, do, why don't we just ask them to help us out, Ryu? Oh, you're talking about, you're talking about that idea? You know we can't do it ourselves. What's this idea you're talking about? Actually, there's a request we'd like to make. Mind hurrying us out? The special support section listened to Ryu and Anri's story about finding the kitten. And then... To summarize, you would like for us to find our true owner. Please do, she was wearing a collar when we first found her. We took it off because it looked like she was suffering when she we first found her, but it should mean that she has an owner. Yeah, she doesn't really seem to like us all that much either, probably because she has no idea who we are. I imagine her real owners are worried sick by now. We should try finding them for the kitten's sake. Do you have any clues as to who the owner might be? Yeah, about that. Henry here was thinking it might be a kid. The collar looked handmade. Doesn't seem like something a kid like us would do. Yeah, I can see that. I guess we should narrow the search to households with kids then. Wow, that's your nerd down our leads. Either way, it's your call, Lloyd. Well, except, we're probably going to end up being late going to St. Ursula, but let's try and look for the kitten's owner for a bit. First of all, we should probably take the kitten with us. Is that why? She's quite feeble at the moment. She would hardly be able to keep up with us, no? I have just a solution for that. Mind letting me hold her, Ryu? Oh, sure. Okay, come here, girl. Lloyd took the frail kitten in his arms and gently placed her inside his jacket. There, there we go, all tucked in. This should work, or we should be able to walk around safely at the very least. Oh, what's this? Who knew you had a way with animals? 
I'm surprised you aren't a veterinarian. Well done, Lloyd. So let me get this straight. You think it'd be best to assume the owner is a child, right, Henry? Yes, probably. And since we found her over near Residential Street, her home might be somewhere over there. Or either way, our best bet is to focus on residential communities. Ready, everyone? Do I have to walk slowly for this? I guess not. And the cat just froze up because we're walking too fast and stains Lloyd's jacket. Yes, that, that totally happened. So he says we have to talk. Uh, we should try to talk to people in this apartment too. Can we speak to you for a moment? Have you recently started taking care of a cat, or do you know anyone else who may be? Oh, we were talking about that kitten Ryu found the other day. They told me a bit about the kitten, but I don't know who has it. It's not impossible to think that Dad or Sis would keep the cat, but those two are freak engineers. I don't know if they're interested in anything that can breathe. Wendy's sister is pretty sharp for her age. I doubt she knows any more information than she already stated. Do you mind if we borrow a minute of your time? You own a, do you own a cat by any chance? We found a stray kitten and we're trying to find its owner. I know I don't, but I have the kitty. I've always wanted to own a cat. Actually, my parents run a store inside our, of our house, so I don't think they would let me keep a kitty inside there. Sorry about that. We've got to find the kitten's rightful owner anyway. Oh, I want a kitty. What am I saying? Please, uh, please find the poor kitty's owner. Another dead end. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I was wondering if you've been looking after a kitten here by any chance. If you know anyone who is, that works too. A kitten. You know, this is a law office, right? We can't let a cat live in here. Kid makes a good point. We can't let a cat wander around here even if we wanted to. That definitely wasn't what I was expecting to be asked about today. Hey Colin, do you have a second? Do you or anybody you know own a cat? A kitty? What kind of kitty is it? Oh, hold on. It's this little girl right here. Lloyd well, received the cat from his jacket, pocket, and showed her to Colin. And they should have made a sprite of Lloyd carrying the cat. Oh, I know this kitty. Whoa, seriously? Yeah, she likes to walk on her fence sometimes. I haven't seen her much these days, though. Looks like our little pussycat is from around these parts. It's also like... It also likely narrows down the owner to somebody living in on Residential Street. Let's continue the search. Got it. Thanks, Colin. You're a big help. I'm glad. I hope I see you again. He says to us examine a gate. Ellie's house. Oh. Excuse me, Lloyd. Were you looking to visit this house, perchance? Yep. After all, the kitten's owner might live here, right? It's possible that a child around the suspected age could be here, too. I don't think that's the case. Oh, right. Why would you know where or not there's a child living here? What if nobody's home? We should ring the doorbell first, right? Yeah, good call. What's up, Ellie? You're acting kind of funny. Wow, there's an oral buzzer here. They must be well off. Excuse me, this is the CPD. Would we be able to speak with you for a bit? It won't take more than a minute. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be there in just a moment. And she hides around the corner. Because her servant would recognize her. I am Helmer, this family's butler. I believe you said you were the one with the police, correct? Yeah, no need to feel alarmed, though. It's nothing too important. Does this household happen to own a pet cat? A cat, you say? No, I'm afraid not. This residence does not own any pets. Well, I may be fond of cats. The master and my lady are more of the dog type. Oh, really? Master and Lady. Swing and a miss. Whew, I need to be more careful. Hey, Lloyd, we just spoke with a person that lives here, right? Shouldn't we move on to a different residence? We shouldn't bother them if we don't have any pressing concerns. But you don't have any problem at breaking and entering into the Hayworth house all the time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I suppose there's no need to bother them any further. I've noticed our neighbor's daughter wandering outside of her home by herself quite often recently. Who knows where those tiny feet of hers are taking her to? It's dangerous for kids to wander a city alone. You can never be too careful, you hear? Parents would imagine when I was growing up. I was filled with maids and butlers, so I never had a chance to learn how to do housework. 
Getting married has been an adventure. I I'm constantly discovering new things I missed out on during my sheltered childhood. No complaints from me, though. I'm loving every second of my life. Okay, let me kids in this house to interrogate. Looks like a child lives in this home. Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment? Hmm, can I help you with something? Bond, James Bond. We're with the CPD and we're conducting a small investigation. Do you happen to own a cat by any chance? No, we don't. Sunita, sweetheart, do you know anything about this? I don't know anything. Hmm, I'm busy reading a book of father, so can you please go away? She knows something, doesn't she? Swing a miss. I would recommend we extend our search in the neighborhood. You're right, there's a chance we overlook something, so one more round wouldn't hurt. Suspicious. I don't know anything! <laughs> I'm busy reading a book with father. Okay. Tell me this person... <laughs> Maybe she... The cat was a stray that she... And she attempted to take care, uh, care of it, but put the collar on too tight and then it ran away. That would make sense. And cannot go into this part of Geofront yet. Huh, isn't that? So she is up to something. But what exactly? Marie, oh Marie. Where could you have run off to this time? Marie, come out! Didn't we talk to that little Missy earlier? I suppose this little girl that's been fu This is the little girl that's been going out on her own. Yeah, what's going on though? She's acting sort of strange. Okay, time to arrest her. Just kidding. Oh, that sweet child, where has she gone off to? Excuse me, are you searching for something? Yes. Are you looking for a kitten by any chance? One like this. Marie! Oh, thank goodness, you're safe. You still- oh, you silly girl, where'd you run off to? I suppose that makes matters easier then. You must be your owner, right? Not exactly. Marie is actually a stray cat. She's a stray, even though she has a collar? Marie may be a stray, but she's still mine. That's why I went when gave her a collar. But you put on too tight, didn't you? Huh, can't say I saw that coming. The truth is, I want to keep Marie at my house, but my, fa my father would never allow that. After all, Marie... Marie tore up all father's important work papers. I think I heard something about this earlier. Hey, kick up. I saw her do it. Marie came in through the window and took an afternoon nap in far study. After she woke up, she tore all of his papers to shred. I'm so sorry, father. I think it would have been better if you had explained the situation to your father as soon as it happened. The kitten sped off somewhere once she finished ripping up the documents, right? Nod. So you started searching for Marie because you were worried about her. Nod. Whew, I say that's case closed then. Those were quality deductions, Lloyd. Well, I suppose kittens will do as they please, you know? Damn near impossible to get them to behave how you want, I bet. Yeah, you're probably thinking there's no hope of keeping Marie at your house. If you love her so much, then why not try explaining the circumstances to your father? That'll be best. Don't worry, we'll be by your side. Let's go speak to your father together, shall we? Nods. You've been wanting to keep a kitten. Oh, so this is what it's all, uh, been all about. Huh? I've been worried about Sunita's odd behavior this last little while. For example, she kept going out on her own without telling us what she was doing. The cat may have torn up my documents, but I suppose they weren't that important. So you aren't mad Marie then, father? Should've gone paperless. Can we please keep Marie then? Huh, yes of course, sweetheart. I'm happy to say we've added a new member to our family, but you may want to keep your documents protected and maybe keep- and maybe get a dedicated office where the cat cannot get in. However, Sunita, it's your responsibility to properly take care of Marie, understood? Of course. Thank you so much, Father. And don't let them near your horrible computers. They'll just sleep on your keyboards and get hair all over the place. 
A happy ending to the story, eh? I'm happy for her. She seems to have a very loving father. Yeah, cats like to sit on keyboards all the time. Agreed. I can ascertain that Kitten will be also be pleased. However, Lloyd, it was unnecessary of the police to escalate the issue as far as we did, correct? I had you confused for a bracer, rather than a detective. Heh, <laughs> guess you're right, Tio. It's our duty to help the people, though. We call ourselves the Special Support Section, don't we? I say these kinds of tasks are right up our alley. Anyway, that's a wrap. Let's head out of here. Sounds like a plan, my man. And report- let's report this one, see if I hit the next threshold. Okay, that gives me a little bit more. Oh, promoted! Spirit Badge! Nice! What does this do exactly? Does it increase ATS or something? Defense plus. Whoa, that's a big defense boost. Huh. May want to give it to Ellie since she has the least defense of the entire party. Actually, no, I can stack the straw hat, can't I? That's actually a really good idea, isn't it? If I do that, I can turn one character into a speed god. Yes. Yes. No, but the, he loses strength boost too. Gah. Okay, let's give it to you. Double straw hat. I don't know how that works. I guess you're putting the straw hat on top of the other one. But now you have 46 speed. Same as Lloyd. Maybe this will give you more opportunities to scan the enemies too. Bad news, we're not allowed to go through here anymore. Damn it. We're stuck. We're railroaded. That really sucks. After all, I'm, what if the player wasn't done trying to scan everything? We better be able to revisit this because I didn't get to find the Shining Palm yet. The CGF striking wolf like monsters out in the mountains? Hmm, I'm admittedly a little curious about our wolven friends. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it a hunt, they're just patrolling the area. Hey, where do you find out something like that in, uh, like that out anyway? Hmm, heh, looks like there's some truth to my words. I'm pretty sure I remember hearing a similar story in the church's testaments. The white wolf keeps vigil over this karmic land, for here is where the bell tolls, or something like that, I think. I don't really believe in it, though. Oh, really? That's the same story the village chief told us. I wasn't expecting to hear that from you, of all people. Are you sure? This is a really religious gang, so of course they'd be up to date with this kind of stuff, right? Septian Church Testaments. Azel must continue to visit the hospital for regular checkups. His extended period of unconsciousness makes it necessary for him to do so. Hmm. Can't find the right timing to apologize to my sister. I thought I'd be able to offer a bit more of reassurance since I've been worrying her. I guess I'll apologize to her after checkups to say that I fully recovered. What are the Sabres doing? You're still a total newbie. We've got to make sure you got all the rules down one by one. Listen up, first we gotta teach you to green. Whenever Walton or any of the other seniors come up to you, you hit them with a sup, got it? Sup. This is. You're not tricking the newbie into pissing off the seniors, are you? Hello. Don't hello me. We taught you how to greet us. Now put your back into it. Sup. Okay. Koki was discharged from the hospital, but he's still going back there for regular checkups. Same story, huh? Screw those guys. Ravache must think they're hot shit. Those mobsters are so damn full of themselves. Oh my god, this guy is still going about uh, going on about Rishi as rack. Don't even get me started on that rack. Yeah, they think she's dumb for going into the uh, uh, into the ap apartments in this. Uh, uh, in this gangster-ridden area, but we all know the truth about her if we played Cold Steel 2. Now, gangsters should be the one who, who are uh, to be afraid in this situation. Seriously, her stats are totally OP. 
Hey you, redhead. You look like you know your way around a gun. You, you ever been in the military? Huh? Well, I just spent some time in the CGF. But the Guardian Force isn't officially classified as the military, so I wouldn't call myself a soldier. A tall redhead that looks like he's fought some real battles. Hmm. Uh, can I help you, lady? No, don't worry about it. Sorry to bar you, just give me a heads up if you need anything. Sure, what's that all about? Ah, these must be the new type of quartz for the Enigma unit. Yeah, those are the ones. Got a new stock of merchandise from the CGF. Damn, these new ornaments aren't popular with customers. The steady supply isn't enough to make money off of them. Wait, you're in cahoots with the CGF? Yeah, you find that crap anywhere you look. A whole lot more corruption in their ranks than you'd like to believe. A Jaeger for an acquaintance. That old dude's super tough looking. I've seen him in here before. Hmm. C. I guess not. I guess she still won't let us down there. Just bet there's a secret boss. Okay, I'm catching. Uh, looks like, looks like there's some new fish here too. Proxy puppet. Whoa, that's really good, isn't it? If I, uh, well, actually, it's like a one-time revive, like Nocturne Rebirth Phoenix feathers. Okay, we have no choice but to go south then. Never between of being a railway engineer. A he's one of those train fanatics. Run! Self exit. Okay, so, uh. I see a bus. Do I have my enemy radar all set up? Just making sure. Yes, I should be able to see them all.待っていれば、すぐに来るわね。うるすら病院か。行くのは久しぶりだわ。あ、俺もそうだよ。本当なら、すぐにでも訪ねるつもりだったんだけど、毎日。Oops。あら? ずいぶん世話になった人でさ。戻った挨拶をしたかったんだけど。お互い忙しかったから先延ばしになってたんだよな。なるほど。そうだったの。勤めてるってことは医者か何かか。いや、看護師をしてる人だよ。エネンレン
来なくてもいいとか言ったら怒りますよい言わないって危ない危ない少し気をつけなくちゃなそれに私もロイドさんのお知り合いにも会ってみたいですしこの前通信機で嬉しそうに話していた人ですよね You heard that? どどうしてそれを<笑>ロイドのお姉さんみたいな人かちょっと会うのが楽しみになってきたわねおうどっちかっていうとメインイベントになりそうだぜああくまで操作優先だからな So bus Yeah, we're gonna have to walk again. Oh well, at least we can pick up treasure and, and monster drops on the way. Oi, oi. Roido! Jupungo ni kurun janakata no gayo! Ore ni yuarete mo! Shkashi mio dana! Sasuga ni oso sigiru kiga! Ah! Yapari kite rai yona! Voiced! This guy associated with the bus company? What are you doing? I'm going to go to the bus company. I'm going to go to the bus company. I'm going to go to the bus company. I lost contact with it. Probably got killed by monsters. I'm going to go to the bus company. I'm going to go to the bus company. I'm going to go to the bus company. 途中でプツリと切れてしまって応答がなくなってしまったんですそれってトラブルの匂いがしますねところで兄さんどこの人なんだあ僕はクロスベル市交通課のものです一応自治州で運行しているバスの管理をしてるんですけどうーん警備隊に連絡するのもなんだしやっぱりギルドに頼るしかないかなみんな、いいかえ、わかってる、はあ、仕方ないですねま、これも巡り合わせだろうあの、その役目、自分たちに任せてくれませんかえ、君たちはクロスベル警察、特務支援課の者ですこれから捜査任務で、医科大学に向かうところでしたえ、君たち警察の人そっか、雑誌で読んだことがあるな。Oh no, damn it, Grace. 警察がギルドみたいな市民サービスを始めたって。その、厳密には同じではないんですけど、バスの様子を見に行くくらい、問題なくできるかと。そうか、それならよろしく頼むよ。なんだったら、遊撃士の応援でも頼んでおくかいい、いや、多分大丈夫だと思います。みんな、行こうえおや了解です Okay, time to... What, what about everyone else? We're just about to go get a checkup at the hospital. Why, the, why is the bus so late? How long are we planning on making us wait? Thing, this thing is already late already... Is, is way too late already, and it feels like I'm starting to catch a cold. My poor grandson has been hospitalized for a while now. I'm sure it must get lonely wasting away in the hospital like that. I'm going to see a sick friend of mine, but I don't think that's happening anymore. What's up with the bus today? Did I miss the bus? I hope not, because I'm running a bit a little late. So this way leads to the airport. I'm thinking of playing out of Crossbell Airport, so I rode a train out here. Between the trains, buses, and airships, Crossbell has just about every mode of transportation. Must be convenient. We don't have enough buses, though. No business at the airport. Okay, the moment we leave, we'll probably start seeing chests and monsters. Um, I don't see a chest yet. I guess I don't, I'm not close enough. I'm a little nervous, though. Is there a chest up there? I do see, no, I think I see something shining though. Something worth get, getting. 
Oh no, it's a snail. Attack! What the heck is that thing? Everyone's weapons have been upgraded except for Randy's because his has a horrible accuracy penalty for some reason. Let's wait and see if I can get Tio to scan one of them. Yeah, this could be painful. But I, I can just run back to town almost immediately anyways. Even if they somehow manage to utterly wreck me. It really sucks that uh, uh, that scanning the enemy has to be so uh, 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 cumbersome in these games. More companions? Oh shoot! It's not paralyzed, so it, I might want to kill it anyway, since it has a crit turn. Yeah, first play it safe. I'll find another opportunity to scan you sooner or later. Oh, that's a lot of time stuff here. Nice. And earthworms. What the heck is that thing? What kind of mutant creature are you? An evil monkey? It's not following me, is it? It's only one of you. Long-eared monkey. You dare attack me alone? Oh, it's actually kind of strong. Wait, did we just get all of its scans already? I think maybe we fought before. I don't remember. The heck? No, she has the information course. That allows her to see it. I still need to scan you manually. Yeah. <laughs> Gimme. Fire Sepeth. Okay. That's an, an, an interesting sight. Where is there a shrine all the way out there? Inaccessible. Oh, we can fish here! Oh, that was, that was a nice surprise. I also got a new type of bait, I think. Red flies. Wait. Can't use it. I also got a bunch of earthworms. Let's hope for some good catches. Carp, a normal carp. They re don't they already have that? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more new one in order to get the next prize. Okay, I have like eight now. Wow, Lloyd, you managed to catch yourself some real buttes. Good work, kid. Starting today, you are now a professional fisher. Hair as prize. I remember the day I reached professional fisher as clear as a river stream. I'd always been an avid fisherman, but I had to stop in Liberal for a business trip. During that trip, I met with the founder of the Fisherman's Guild. Needless to say, that this man was the legendary angler himself, Mr. Fisher, who is now my boss. Anyway, cue some more fishing, and then it happened. I was granted the rank of professional fisher. Man, that sure takes me back. <sighs> must have been quite the struggle. It's another of certain stories. It's going to be a long one. I can feel it. But wait, why did you stop in Liberal for work? Were you some kind of traitor? Waha, no, not at all. I was there on behalf of my father, himself a businessman. Sure, I may have, have I may have had business acumen, but I pride myself on being a branch manager. Yeah, I can see that. I figured he lived for his hobby, but this just confirms it. Whoops, almost forgot. I still gotta tell you about the requirements to advance to the next rank. 
Your conditions for ranking up are to catch at least 12 unique kinds of fish. You will really need to pull out all the stops for this one, but tr just try your best. Hair. I'm, I remember that one being... Uh, having some kind of special effect of some sort. Oh, increases chance of escaping from battle, but besides that, it also boosts my wind <laughs> number a lot. Oh yeah, group heal in. That's the stuff. You also get some wind AoE moves. Yes, things are looking up here. Yes. Okay, next area. Hmm. So there's supposed to be a boss fight in the second map. That's not good. Hmm. Just in case, maybe I should try to put everyone to a little corner so that we can... I don't know, buy time while the boss tries to get to us. Pearl Ring. If the CPD found out who stole from me, you'll be unemployed. Okay. There's gonna be some few enemies up ahead. Hmm. Chest EP charge. As you walk away with a mediocre item, you fail to notice that the chest itself is made of priceless Zamorian ore. What? That's just a joke, right? Yeah, Zamorian ore, th those... You, there's never enough to upgrade everyone's gear unless you do a new game plus in general. Oh no. Boss time. I didn't expect it because there were so many n normal enemies there. Yeah, I'm gonna go rearrange my party real quick. Real, be right back. Whoa. This is bad. Those two are... I remember these kinds of enemies hang really hard. Having powerful AoEs and such. Do we have to protect the bus? Wait, why did formation change? No, you can't do that. That's a crime. They can change our formation to where they want it to be. My goodness. They're immune to all kinds of status effects too. Ugh. Shit. I think I may have to do some grinding. I don't really have anything that's good against them. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume they're gonna hit, hit me really hard, oh, but I don't have enough EP for anything. Crap. Hmm. They're immune to Confuse, of course, because that would be just too easy, wouldn't it? Try to center an aerial around where I think they're going to be. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck! They can two-shot me! I need I should have gotten more tear bombs. Oh man. Speed down won't help us much. Ooh. Yeah. 
The fact that they changed our formation at the start of the battle is also kind of shit. Yourself. Oh my goodness, it missed. Yes. Uh. Things are so tanky, too. I truly feel hopeless here. You can't do that! No! Are you fucking shitting me? It was bad enough as it is. And you're telling me I can summon freaking allies whenever it wants. What's this horse shit? It can summon them anywhere it wants on the field, too. That is just... That is just terrible. I can't take it. It's impossible. Okay, I can AT delay them. That'll buy me some time, but... That fucking normal enemy is gonna kill me. Oh, shit. Damn it, Randy, you're gonna have to AT delay these fuckers into oblivion. Should be easier now that I've debuffed her speed a bit. They aren't weak to anything except fire. Damn it, if I knew I would have gotten some fire AoE set up. Damn. Yeah, for some reason, the guide refuses to give you any strategies whatsoever. So I'm kind of stuck here. Blue drop. Oh, wow, Randy's super strong now. I can double stack that shit. Hey, let's try Chaos Branding this thing. Ow. Tio. We gotta keep delaying you. Can't have you. Getting any advantage whatsoever. Oh, goodness. Confusion. Or just massive damage. That works too. K. 
Okay. Don't want to go too crazy with my arts here. They're too heavy to move, so it's, it actually works to my advantage. I can't m make them fall out of formation. Randy will be able to hit them regardless. However, I may want to analyze one of them to make my life easier. Yes, make their d defense a little lower so I can chip away at them. Hold on, can I just get away with a normal attack before... Yes, I should do that so I can be more efficient with my CP. Okay, so let's Tiger Charge you. I mean, no, I know I'm not fully maxed out on my uh, strength buffing, but whatever. Okay, one down. Cool. i we'll move here. La Forte, since I have some t uh, time to spare. Yes. You use La Forte as well. We, we're gonna double stack this on everyone. Oh shit, it's about to get a turn. That's not good. We might get desperate and call another ally. Well, at least it's more likely to hit Randy, who can probably tank anything it throws at him. Oh shit. I don't have enough. Is it, does, does Lay work while they're still charging up their shit? Yes, it does. Cool. That gives me time to deal with your shit. Also, second, let's stack another analyze. We want you debuffed again, if possible. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Boom, boom, boom. Doing good damage now. Oh, except for Teal. Teal still can't do crap. Okay. But you can go ahead and smack him. Okay, I need to AT delay. Victory, somehow, without anyone dying, surprisingly. Seven rush. Does that mean I beat it in exactly seven turns? Or No, that can't be right. You material, yes! A just reward for taking on such a powerful monster. <sighs> Good thing they were vulnerable to AT delay. If they weren't, I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't be able to keep up with their DPS even if I debuffed both of their speeds constantly. Hmm. Guys, get the bu is the bus fixed or not? If it's not, then just let's let's hurry up and run before any more bosses show up. But seriously though, changing our formation like that for the boss battle was kind of a dick move. Ah, What's the point of being able to say your formation if the game can just set to whatever the hell they want? その前に努力エンジンが故障を起こしちまったんだ。仕方ないから一旦停車して調べてみようとしたんだが、そこに今の魔獣が現れて立ち往生するはめになったのか。通信機の調子が悪かったのも 
I want to give us some kind of backup power. Yeah, there's probably septium inside that car, so the monsters are attracted to it. We're it's dangerous to stay here. We should call over to CGF and have them send a squad to guard this bus for a while. There's what? Hey, Randy, you think we can AT? Oh, think you can AT delay all three of them at once? さすがにまずいな。おい、ロイド。さすがに全部相手にしてらんねえ。いや、ダメだ。それだとバスが襲われる可能性がある。それもそうか。とにかくすぐに対処しないと。AT delay, AT delay. If we can just get them all close enough together, we can AT delay them to oblivion. きます。The hell? Yes, we're being bailed out, but this time by other protagonists. Instead of some real super senior bracer. Well, technically they might be senior bracers already, but still. Still. Yosha! Let's do this, Joshua. Uh. Right. <laughs> they have a Team S craft. And jo and Estelle got herself a Joshua harem for a few moments. No. I think we can. My party members can learn to do something like that. すごい。とんでもないです。何とか間に合ったかな。エステル、大丈夫かい？うん、私は別に。なんとかヨシアの切り込みのタイミングを作れてよかったわ。それはそうと。えっと、もしかしてクロスベル警察の人かしら。Huh. I think I remember that uh, that theme song from Trails in the Sky. 南口のところで交通課の人から話を聞いたんだけど。ああ。その君たちは。あ、いきなり現れて混乱させちゃったみたいね。はじめまして。私はエステル。エステルブライトよ。Oh, they translated those into different parts of the text box. 僕はヨシュアと言います。遊撃士協会クロスベル支部に正式配属になったばかりです。やっぱり遊撃士か。自分たちはクロスベル警察特務支援課に所属するものです。危ないところをありがとう。本当に助かったよ。いいって。あなたたちも結構やりそうだし、余計なお世話かなってちょっと思
よろしくロンドさんにエリーさんにランディさんにティオちゃんあれティオにロイドって<笑>ちょっと面白い偶然だねえっと Are they hear about Teal from the Epstein Foundation? But what about Lloyd? Probably, well, Lloyd is the leader of the SSS, so、uh, he's probably better known than the other members. Oh, wait, or maybe they. No, I think about it. They might have, I think they've met NPCs with those exact names in Trails in the Sky, and they're thinking, hey, those names are familiar. Yes, in this game, people can have the same first name. Yes, I think I remember now. There were people in Liberal named Tio and Lloyd. ちょうど知り合いにティオとロイドさんがいたからおもしろい偶然だなって思ってもちろん全然似てないけどねははそういえば動力バスの方はどうですかどうやらエンジントラブルを起こしているみたいですけどあ、ああ Guess if he knows how to sabotage an airship, he might know how to fix a bus. Well, those are two completely different things, but still. そういえばよしや飛行船の操縦とかできるもんね簡単な整備ならお手の物かいやさすが遊撃士いざっていう時は頼りになるなあいえたまたまですからなあ気をつけお前エンジン修理とかはいいえ門外観です動力ネットの関
No worries, you can always come back and give me a shot if you change your mind. I might be better off just heading back to town first just to... Maybe upgrade my ge my slots again. After all, I don't think we'll be able to get back on the road for a while. しかし、動力者といい、なんとかネットワークってのといい、クロスベルは進んでるわね。てっきり私、リベールが一番動力技術が進んでると思ってたけど、まあ、リベールも技術先進国だけど、伝統を大事にする傾向があるからね。それに、
Looks like I was right. The highway is way better for walks in the city streets. Do you guys come out here for an afternoon stroll as well? It's not every day you see people skip the bus in favor of walking. Okay. Enemy box. Shit, they're fast. They have a lot of movement too. Yeah, it's holy bullet or, or, or craft. I really should use it more. Down. Loft Forte. Let's see if I can hit most of you with this. Ooh, nice! That takes care of most of them. Or not. More like half of them. Oof! Count killed ki with a counter. And they died from burn damage too. Cool. We gained some CP. Level up. Fish fillet in row. Rune cloth. How is that compared to our current armor? Art's defense up by a lot, but my speed drops. Oh, maybe I'll use it when I run to enemies that actually use arts more often. Thanks, actually. I need to get that off my chest. There's another chest up there. Reviving Balm. Did it just get a lot brighter out here? Okay, so that takes care of these two chests. Okay. Now the chest. Impede one. This tree didn't impede you from seeing me. Heh. <laughs> I never knew what this fork is. If I try to approach it, they'll probably say something, right? Road leads into the forest, eh? Yeah, I've actually heard there are runes hidden somewhere in there. Though we don't have any reason to check it out now. Yeah, let's ignore it. Oh, you guys are back. Wait, what happened to the bus? We managed to find the bus broken down in the middle of the road. It sounded like the engine had broken down. We also temporarily warded off monsters trying to attack passengers. There are currently two bracers handling the aftermath. Oh really? Well, fine by me. I'm sure I have nothing to worry about if bracers are already on the scene. Yeah, I guess so. I appreciate Estelle and Joshua saving us, but I can't say I enjoy this recent trend of bracers swooping in to save the day. Get used to it. You're just a bunch of... It, yeah, Kiseki protagonists are always gonna need someone saving the day for them. The, the reason they call it Legend of Heroes is because you're not the hero. It's the legend of all the people saving you. Yeah. I feel you, L. But seriously, they've got some real impeccable timing, don't they? I missed this earlier. This row on the ground. Okay, how long until I can find a Shining Palm? I feel like they're impossible to find. Am I almost there? Ooh, 
Whoa, that's a big ass uh, beetle thing. Dang it, no party advantage. Well, guess I'll just scan them. Blame thrower. Okay, good. I managed to, s to paralyze one. So I should go after the other one. Okay, hit that one. Let's hope it doesn't use any arts. Okay, cooling spray. Um, any hidden items? No. Okay, free chests on this map. The heck are you? It looks like a butterfly bird thing. The Butterflyer paralyzes. A good omen. Oh, come on. That sucks. Good thing it only lasted for one turn, that's sass effect. Dang it, Lloyd, you're not the one with crappy, inaccurate gear. How the hell are you missing? We really need to invest in the hit courts every- Oh, wow, even missed during the team attack. Yeah, we really need to invest in the hit courts. That's mandatory for all physical attackers in this series. Just hope or the accuracy of the hit courts can keep up with enemy evasion in the late game. Did I fight you yet? Hey, I think one of them is slightly different. No, I think I fought the grass one before. Why did it show up again? That's so weird. Okay, this here is an exploding enemy, so yeah, watch out. Good thing Ellie can finish it off with her long-range attack. My rumor in Trails in the Sky, so, robotic enemies sometimes had really huge explosions, so... Even if you think you're far away, you might not be far enough. Tinkle Earrings. Amongst chests, it's not what's on the inside that counts, but what's on the outside. Yeah, the red ones tend to have better stuff. So what exactly is... Prevent Sleep. Okay, what's in here? EP Charge. If that's the Stargazer's Tower, does that make me the Tower Gazer's chest? Hmm. Bet we could get in there through the forest from earlier. Okay, a bunch of sepith of each type. If you're down with sickness, then maybe you should get yourself checked in to St. Ursula Medical College. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legends of Heroes Trails from Zero, Please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.